Hello everyone, today I wanted to share with you guys a comp that I've been playing quite a bit and is looking to be a lot stronger on the new patch. With the right setup, I found Darius Kiana reroll to be incredibly strong in the meta and I wanted to share with you guys how exactly to pilot this comp. In this comp, you are looking to reroll Darius, Kiana, and then most likely Nico as well. The other units don't matter as much and it can cost a bit too much gold to hold. The primary board you're looking for is Darius plus 5 Heavenly. So, Malphite, Cal 6, Nico, Kiana, and Soraka. In the early game, you want to look to stay low level and just hold as many of these units as possible. Uh, Soraka, you can sell, you'll get her later. But uh, for the most part, you treat this as a one cost reroll in that you're primarily looking for Darius, and then the tempo you get from having Darius 3 will allow you to roll for Nico and Kiana. After Krugs, you will be looking to do a roll down to around 34 gold. Uh, this breakpoint ensures that after two turns, you will be back up to 50 econ. In this time, you want to hold as many Darius copies as possible. Ideally, after this roll down, you will have around five or six copies of Darius, which is the point in which I would advocate for go trying to go level six once your econ is back up. If you don't manage to hit like your sixth unit on your board if you're missing some like a Soraka. Uh, you can stay five and just roll above 50 until you have the unit you need to go six. Once you have this board, you will stay at six until you have Kiana and Zarius three starred. And I, hopefully Nico as well, but she's the lowest priority of the three. And one of the most important aspects of this comp is itemization as Having the right items is what enables Darius and Kiana to be as strong as they are in the late game. The absolute highest priority is to have an aggro drop, usually in the form of Edge of Night, because that's the only craftable one. But if you manage to get a Zanya's, that is by far the best item you can put on Darius. The reason an aggro drop is incredibly important is because it allows Darius and Kiana to win 1v1s against most champions that a lot of the time they wouldn't otherwise win. Apart from that, you also want a source of healing and a source of damage on each of these units. For this reason, the most important component is sword because Edge of Night needs one and two out of three healing options also need a sword. As for your damage item, you don't, you can be quite flexible because both Darius and Kiana scale with both di like direct damage, either AP or AD and attack speed. So you can go attack speed items on them if you don't have an AD item or an AP item. Other items, you're just looking for utility, either in the form of Shiv and Morello on Soraka or the equivalent on Nico, uh, Ionic Spark, Heaven Shroud, Sunfire. Once you have Kiana and Darius at 3 star, you are going to look to just push levels, adding in more Heavenly, adding in Sage or Dragon Lord, depending on what you hit. If you manage to get a Huey off of Carousel, you can look to start pushing levels and use the Huey to complete your Kiana or your Nico. For augments, you want to prioritize combat augments. If your items are terrible, uh, item augments are acceptable. However, you want to have as much combat power for your Kiana and Darius so that they can actually like, card carry in the late game. I would generally avoid econ augments as it's not too hard to hit these units considering it's just a one and two cost. However, if you are bleeding out, you can take an econ augment on 4-2 to try to snag a fifth place. Now, before I show you a VOD of this comp, I want to talk about one of the most important like, texts within this comp, and that is how to get your Darius or Kiana to target backline, which is understanding how unit wrapping works is incredibly strong and allows you to cheese a lot of free wins in some potentially bad matchups. Depending on the way your enemy's frontline is set up, you will be able to get your carry to directly attack backline without hitting the front line and getting stuck. In comps like this, such as Faded, they don't really have their front line clumped together and offset to protect their more important units. In centered cases, it's a little harder, but there is a way to deal with it. Uh, I'll talk about both. In offset, off-center front lines, this is very easy to wrap around. You just want to have your units on the side like this so that both Kiana and Darius have to walk up to the front line. Nico will walk up and then your Darius will follow. Kiana has a cha 
chance to go onto the Thresh or the Ari. Let's say she goes onto the Thresh. Darius has no choice but to start attacking the backline. And he will do so. And then after doing that, he will just keep walking down. And then just spread the enemy backline. But what if they are centered? This is a little trickier, but it is manageable. If you can allocate a weaker length, a weaker side to the front line. If there is one frontliner that's like noticeably weaker than the others, let's say they have a a Shen with no items, you can look to move Kiana over, leave Darius in the backline, and you can try to use Kiana to assassinate this one frontliner, and by then she will start continue to hit the frontline. But Darius will be forced to go backline. Meaning the best way to deal with this Darius comp is to have two strong frontliners covering both sides of the board. Let's just do this. If your enemy has something like this, you just want your Darius and Kiana to focus fire and hopefully they will get their frontliner down in time. Okay, so we're in a bot of a pretty good game I had running this comp. Like, I was forcing this comp, like, anyway, but... Uh, I did play it. Right off the bat, two heavenly units, not bad. I have a decent story we were opening. I think this is the game where, I, like, if I were actually trying to play the game, like, I just had like a completely free- oh, yeah, I had this <laughs> double team with shock. Uh, so like if I were like really trying to play the game, uh, it would be a story opening, but uh, you know. Double team. Okay, so this is an interesting choice because uh, Heavenly Crown is insane. But uh, I think Tiny but Deadly is probably the best combat augment in like this comp. You get move speed, or you get a, a, like attack speed, but and... I can't speak. You get attack speed and move speed, and I think move speed is incredibly important on these slow melee carries that don't have like dashes. Like Yoni doesn't need it, but like Kane or Kiana, Darius, it's incredibly good. And if you get a spat on Carousel. Because I would probably take the gold one, but the prismatic one, like, it doesn't offer that much. It gives you a healing item, but, like, I kind of have good items anyway. This cloak is probably going to turn into a BT, so. And Seven Heavenly doesn't come in until later, so. It's not, like, a huge rush. Whereas Tiny But Deadly is, like, like I said, an incredibly strong combat augment. And I tech in Umbral here just because it doesn't cost me gold if it's in the synergies. And you can see, like, the Stereos one, uh, just, just a Master's Tooth, uh, doing it work, saving a lot of health. Another thing I noticed, I think this game, there was, like, a lot of people running Darius in the early game. Like, he's just strong early game units. But I think, if I recall correctly, correctly, there was a lot of people that were running him, like, pretty late into the game. Here, I look at the items. Uh, I could just have a BT now, which is pretty good. Uh, nothing else is well suited for the Darius. Could be for Kiana, but I don't have Kiana yet. I am looking to three item Darius. So I have BT plus Edge of Night component, which is perfectly good. That, unless I randomly hit Azania somewhere, like that is always turning into an Edge of Night, so I might as well slam it. And because the arc isn't staying, might as well slam that component. Okay. 
looking around. Like, because this is on PB, I'm like considering what people are actually playing, whether that person's like unironically playing Cosmic Sphere Roll, which I think is okay on the current patch, but uh, still, not, it wouldn't be like a top comp. Okay, I made a mistake here in that if I sold the York, I would have made 30 there. Uh, yeah, my bad. I didn't really pay attention to that. And because I'm hard committed to Darius. Okay, uh, roll down to 35, 36 gold. Get back to 50 gold in two turns. Like, for reference, in this practice, I am hard forcing this comp to see the worst and best case scenario. A lot of the time, like, I had a story weaver angle, I had a Yoni angle there. Uh, but, uh,. Committing to this line isn't bad. Like, like the results I've had, just hard forcing this comp. Like, admittedly, it's on PBE, but uh, like the actual board strength has been pretty good. So, going back to the augment selection, I'll go back. Say, I'm just looking for combat augments. Uh, the best combat augment I can find. Okay spots. Like, I don't have that many Darius's, but, uh, taking something like Heroic Bag Grab Bag is definitely not worth it. I already have a damage item. Kenshin Resolve. Uh, Kybrus's Horse could be okay, but, uh, like, it's the best choice. I don't have, like, a good holder for it until, like, maybe, like, the late game. I could maybe put items on Nico, but if I end up with like a spark or some like a sunfire that like kind of removes the option, the other holders would be like Kha'Zix or Malphite, which aren't ideal. Reroll these. Unified is pretty good, but I, uh, I reroll this and I get Epitaph, which is a cycle with that. This board, I'm wondering. I think they, at this point they have better items slash board, so I'm probably used to that, I think. This person has a crazy strong, I think it, I think they're already at 6 Bruiser at this point. But the BT Titans now are like, there's no shot. Decent effort. Carousel, I'm just looking for a sword because that is a uh, Edge of Night or a BT on Kiana. I'm also first pick, so I'm most likely gonna get the sword. No longer first pick, but uh. It's okay, I saved a little bit of health. A little scary, because, uh... Lily's gone. The sword is taken. So, uh... I think the next best thing is to... Slam an item that would be useful. Which would be Spark in this case. Go oh, after yeah, that. So this positioning is kind of noteworthy because I'm trying to get Darius to wrap to as many backlines as possible. As he's the, he's my strong unit. Who you choose between Darius and Kiana kind of depends on the specific layout of the frontline. Oh, Darius, he tried, he was very close, but uh, 
That was a triple healing. Yes. Sorry, I don't know if I have my five no fights, but I'm never actually like unless I get it for completely free, it's I mean, it's completely un uncontested. I'm probably not gonna go for a fight, so additional copies aren't really going to matter. Mm. Masher's various thing work. Like it's a good item. It gives him attack speed and AP, which uh, are the two stats he wants for damage. I, I build this anyway, but uh, I, I know I'm not playing it. Yeah. I, got a, I got my edge of night there. Uh, I get a glove, which most likely... I mean, it just depends on what components I get. It can be like IE or Hodge. Uh, you have a healing item, you have damage item. Any, uh, anything is fine. There is no point in greeting. It just depends on what I get off the carousel. However, as we saw last carousel, swords are a little contested, so... It is most likely going to be a Hodge. I think. I don't remember. Combat augments. I'm not in that bad situation. Heavy hitters, great for reroll. You get a little bit of health from the Nico as well. A terrible spot like I don't have as many Darius as I was I would like to at this point I could have rolled down but I don't I'm not that desperate a situation yet like just this board is like okay but I think around four, like after grass I probably look to roll down duplicators are very nice Interesting, I do go for the Hodge over the IE. Which is probably okay, I think. I, I think having sustain considering I already have an edge knight, having sustain no is pretty important. Out. And damage is a bit more flexible. Interesting, I do I do full greed. Watch Darius versus the Yone in Kiana. It's just not, it's just too much to handle. Like, in terms of single target DPS, both of them are really good in 1v1s. I think Darius is the king of 1v1s. Oh, I decided to do my roll on here for some reason. A little bit of matching. Yeah, because I, I was pretty late to. Leveling to six. That's because I had very few Dariuses. So I don't quite get back to 30 gold, but uh five heavenly is a pretty decent spike. Overall, I'd say this is a pretty middle spot. I got pretty decent item luck, but uh, unit luck has not been too great. It's pretty late, and I don't have Darius 3 or Kana 3. I'm looking for any kind of item. The only thing I can slam is Titans, which isn't that great. Kana doesn't use AP very well. I make the Darius 3, because I have to. At this point, it's a little hard. I'm kind of far off of Kana 3. Uh... But Darius 3 will carry me for a while. Like, if you just watch him, he is working. Edge of Night, absolutely clutch. Saves him from Lissandra. 
He immediately goes and turns and kills that thing, and then the Nar. And that's, like I said before, incredibly important because in these matchups where you have like a scary threat like Alessandra, you will be completely bailed out by Edge of Night. And in a lot of these positioning situations, you will Edge of Night will save you in your attempts to go backline and see because he had Edge of Night, he lived, and then while everything was targeting something else. He's able to walk backline because of uh, the padding of Kiana. I already have items for both my carries, so I'm just looking for anything that would help further buff them. Aegis is huge. Uh, because I'm going to wrap anyways, it depends on what the actual positioning situation is, but uh, I think this is a pretty decent spot for Darius to be in. Well, all of the front lines aren't gonna let me full wrap anyways, but with a little bit of tech I can comfortably fight a lot of these boards. Okay, this is a very strong level 9 board at this point in the game. A lot of these lobbies, uh, a lot of greedy fast 9 players, because uh, the levels go a little lower. I go for Bread Wolf, the uh, anti-heal item. Uh, I can put on Soraka. Kind of close to the Kiana now. No, only two off. I have the Morgana, Tech and Sage at some point in time. I don't have, actually have Sage yet, yet so Ultras is better. Let's watch the Darius do his work. And if there weren't supporting units. Darius just wins the 1v1s against all of these. But uh, I rally a uh, Azir, kind of a big tech. Another support item, which is pretty cool. It's kind of hard for me to position Darius to receive both without completely griefing my positioning, so I like to just have a stronger front line so that the retarget is a little tankier. It's also on the counter, which is pretty nice. Immediately wraps the back line, kills the Ash. And the, with the cane and Ash dead, there's just not enough DPS. You know, it would normally be a, like, I would, I would say Ghostly is like a counter matchup. Because it just takes a little bit of ghost stacking and one, one tap, maybe two, to kill them there. Another reason why Edge of Night is so important. Or if you can get it, Zonyos. Just looking for the third item. The dungeon is pretty good. Put on Nico. A little bit of damage reduction, a little bit of extra tankiness on the unit that would be targeted on onto after the Edge of Night sprock. Immediately wraps the backline. And it's just enough. <laughs> like, if they don't cover out their front line, I, I'm only for the count at this point. I do not hit. I do hit. Cell Ribbon. I have the Wukong in shop too, which is also very nice. I locked the up anyway because I want the Wukong. And uh, the two just work well. Like, it's just two units that most will struggle to 1v1. Okay, I got the 6 Heavenly and Sage. The spot's looking pretty good here. Like, I just want to take out the key in this possible. Uh, focus fire onto the cane, hit Zonglin to proc, and then immediately walks onto the dash. It doesn't really matter what I take, just take two ghostly. 
none of the other items were particularly important. Maybe it was Duelist if uh I could if I were able to afford to go nine, but uh I obviously cannot. Pop sides. Uh, kill the Orn. Once the Orn is dead, kind of blocks and then allows the Darius to wrap onto the Zir. Like, if you have a weak side on the enemy front line, very easy to capitalize. As long as you're, someone gets onto the back line, they'll just keep walking across the back line to kill the rest of it, for the most part. Kiana's very good at blocking for Darius to walk onto the back line. Like, she will try to keep hitting the front line or things in a line. Okay, here, I remember I make a mistake because I try to do the same thing, but he has a bit of a better positioning blocking. And then the Udyr creates a lot of problems because he, uh, he CCs, I think, the Darius, and it delays his walk onto the back line. So, in the next fight, I'm just like, okay, I'm just gonna try to avoid the Udyr and... Even if it doesn't kill, like, assuming they don't flop, I just keep the... I let the Darius walk onto the Huey on the other side, and then eventually it'll wrap onto the Lissandra and then onto the Zir without having to deal with the frontline. The buff, crazy good Wukong on him. I rolled down for anything, anything I can find. I can't, like, I, I don't, can't hit 9, so... No Wukong 2, no... I mean, I'm just looking for Wukong 2, that's like the only thing I can hit. He agrees by putting a zero in the center. So once again, I kill the weak Orn, and then Darius wraps backline, kills the zero and the Lissandra, and then just GG.